right, tied to the idea of uh, service learning is also another program that absolutely the fabric of which is interwoven throughout everything we do here. And that part of our school program is called Character Education, and it gives me great pleasure and a privilege to introduce to you Madame K. That's the letter K in French. She's really known as Mrs. Lisa Krapp, who is our service learning coordinator, middle school French teacher. Thank you. Thank you. I'm actually really known as Madame Ka. That's the real name, <laughs> just so you know. In my brief time tonight, I'd like to tackle two topics. I would like to give you a brief overview of the character education program here at Quest Academy, and I'd also like to shed some light on why I feel that this kind of program is not just important, but imperative, especially in a gifted school. The program has two cornerstones. It was launched in 2000, and it has two real cornerstones that have never changed. It's evolved over the years, but there are 45 minutes set aside every Monday at the end of the day dedicated to the discussion, the exploration of character, and that has never changed. Also, the backbone of the program are the 12 character traits, and those are posted throughout the school, and they have never changed either. You'll see the character ed traits in just a moment, and you'll also see, um, as I'm speaking, you'll see some student-drawn depictions of the, the character traits. The program's based on the Knights of the Round Table, so a student beginning his path of reflection is a page. And then a page, when he shows consistent strength in, a, in various character traits, becomes a squire. And the squires are recognized right here on this stage at all school assemblies called pageants. The squires have commendations read by a presenter to, from teachers and students alike. And once that squire decides to plan and carry out his own personal service learning project, then he can become a knight. And the knights are really the ambassadors of the character education program. They work tirelessly to plan the pageants, plan middle school dances and parties, but also to work on quest auction on special projects, and they represent our school during open house. They also, within the program, deliver seals, which are acknowledgments of random acts of kindness or strong character that are written by teachers and sometimes students. Anyone in the community can send a seal. So that's Quest Academy Character Education 101 in 300 words or less. But why? Why are we spending all this time and all this effort in such a structured program talking about character? If you ask any teacher in this building, when is character ed time, they'll tell you it's all day long, every day. Character ed happens in English class when we discuss literature. Character ed happens when we discuss history. Character ed happens on the playground. But because we have that 45 minutes every week to really delve and define those traits, we have this kind of shared lexicon. The administrators, the teachers, and the students, we all know what respect looks like at every age level. We all know that that fuzzy feeling you get when you help your friend is the benefit of compassion. We all know that it's not just good to serve, it's our responsibility to serve. So by creating a consistent dialogue from such a very young age, we really embrace the root of the word character, which comes from the Greek for engraved mark. We go over and over these lines again and again. We delve deeper and deeper. We define and redefine the traits. And I tell my, my kids all the time that um, I'm here to teach them French, yes, and they're here to learn French and all the other topics, but that's not why we're really here. We're really here because when we learn things together, we share ideas and we communicate and we laugh together and we learn about one another and we learn from one another. And those moments, we're learning the ins and outs of human, successful human interaction. And without those moments, without those ins and outs, those, those moments, the moments between us, are the chisels that engrave the monument of who we are. And how important is this monument of our character? To answer that question, I turn to two places that are kind of unlikely, I guess, Facebook and Hollywood. Have you seen the movie The Social Network? Probably. If not, you've heard about it, and you know that it's based on the life and work of Mark Zuckerberg, who was the designer and co-founder of Facebook. This is a brilliant, gifted mind. He worked tirelessly to produce and achieve. This is what we all want for our kids, right? What could go wrong? And yet at the end of that movie, you see a lonely man in a boardroom, desperately waiting for his old girlfriend to friend him. His old girlfriend that he treated with utter disrespect and detached coldness. And it hits you that you can have all the success in the world and all the money in the world, 
But without that warmth of human connection, you have an empty existence. And that empty existence is something that if we're successful here at Quest Academy, and if we're successful within our character education program, no Quest alum will ever lead. Thank you.